In this video for Vertex Form, I'm going to be looking at what happens when you have word problems where it's not as obvious what your vertex and point are. Um, so up at the top of the screen, I have the vertex form of the quadratic equation. It's written in two ways. One is the function form using f of x. The other is just using y equals. Uh, quick reminder, your vertex is always the point hk, and any point on the parabola or on the quadratic can be represented with x, y. Okay? So when you're dealing with word problems, what you want to always start with doing is read it, annotate it, and if you can, draw a picture that gives you, um, that the information gives you. All right, so Lisa is a horseback rider. When she is on the horse at the starting line, she is a height of six feet. She completed a jump with the horse after five seconds and jumps to a maximum height of 10 feet. Write a function to represent the height of Lisa as a function of time. All right. So when we're looking at this, we know we're going to be dealing with time as the independent variable, and then height is going to be the dependent variable. So that's my x, y axis. Uh, when she's at the starting line, Lisa is a height of six feet. Okay. She's going to make a jump. So there's the jump. Okay. At five seconds, she jumps to a maximum height here of 10 feet. Okay. So this is seconds and height is in feet. Okay, write a function. Okay, so now I just want to focus on this information in the picture. So her starting position, she is six feet off the ground. So that's at zero time, right? That's the starting line. She is at six feet. Now she's going to hit this maximum point, this vertex point, right? That's the vertex is the maximum here. After five seconds, she is at a height of 10 feet. So if we translate this, we've got a vertex here of 5 comma 10, which this is your HK value, and we have some other point on the graph, in this case it's 0, 6, this is going to be XY. Now that we know HK and XY, I can use, I'm kind of scrolling in so I can see the uh, this vertex form again, Okay, that's what I want to use. Y is equal to A times X minus H squared plus K, and I'm going to replace everything I know. So Y gets replaced with 6. A is the piece I don't know. X gets replaced with 0. H is 5 squared plus K is 10. My job now is to solve for A. So I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. So 6 minus 10 is negative 4 equals A times 0 minus 5 is negative 5 squared. Negative 5 squared is 25. You can either use parentheses to show multiplication or a little dot. I'm going to divide everything by 25 to get A completely by itself. And A is equal to negative 4 over 25. Now, depending on the problem, might depend on whether you turn that into a decimal or not. I'm going to actually just leave it as a fraction. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about any rounding issues. Okay, write a function to represent least, uh, her height as a function of time. Okay, so function notation here. I'm going to replace A with what I now know it equals times x minus h was still 5 squared plus k is 10. There is the function that represents Lisa's height as a function of time. So that's problem number three here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and roll on down to number four. Okay, same thing. Word problem, you want to read it, annotate it, and see if you can draw a picture based off of your information. Charlie kicks a soccer ball from the ground through a hoop that is a horizontal distance of 80 feet away at a height of 20 feet. Write a quadratic function to represent the height of the ball as a function of its distance. Okay, so let's start drawing a little picture here. 
So in this case, we're going to have horizontal distance, and then vertical is going to be the height. So Charlie kicks the ball from the ground. So if the ball is on the ground, it has a distance of zero and a height of zero. So that's zero, zero. All right. Uh, let's see. The hoop is a horizontal distance of 80 feet away at a height of 20 feet. So this hoop right here is 80, 20. Okay. So let's translate this into pieces that we can figure out. So this 80, 20, this ordered pair is my vertex. So this is going to be HK. And then the point 0, 0, that's the point where the ball started on the ground, is any point on the graph. That's my XY. So Y is equal to A times X minus H squared plus K. So 0 equals A is the unknown. X is 0 minus 80 squared plus 20. All right, let's start solving this. I'm going to subtract 20. See, A is equal, uh, no, <laughs> equals A times negative 80 squared. Negative 80 squared is 6,400. Divide both sides by 6,400. Okay. So what I'm going to do in my calculator is put this fraction in and see if I can't reduce the fraction to something that's a little bit more manageable. Um, so it's going to be negative 1 over 320. So negative 1 over 320. Yeah, leave it as a fraction unless the directions explicitly say to put it in decimal form. All right, so we now have our A value and we know our vertex. So I can write a function here uh, to represent the whole path of the soccer ball. So f of x is equal to negative 1 over 320 times x minus 80 squared plus 20. So with the word problems, make sure that you read it and annotate it. From what you've annotated, draw a picture that makes sense for the information, then use that picture to figure out what your vertex is, what your point is, or if there's other information that's given to you.